Swayam Prabha. Digital India. Educated India. Welcome back. So today we will discuss on alpha migratory insertion little bit and then mainly get into the alpha elimination. In the last class we were trying to show you uh, the examples of mal alpha migratory insertion and in lot of lot of example we have discussed regarding that. Uh, we will discuss one more time the transition metal carbon which we have uh, started discussing in the last one and then we will move to the alpha elimination. So, today's topic mainly will be on alpha migratory insertion and then alpha elimination. Okay. So, transition metal carbene as we were trying to discuss transition metal carbene. Um, these are the complexes of this nature where R group is there carbene as, as you know. Uh, this is the metal carbene species and there is a R group. Uh, this R group can be hydrogen or any other alkyl group. So, this is alpha migratory insertion we are looking at the reverse will be the alpha elimination process. Now, if this R group is H uh, or if R group is methyl depending on that we can we can follow the reaction and we will be able to tell the delta D G double dagger of the reaction and we can experimentally measure that. If we do that for example, in case of this tantalium complex where you have R and uh, C 5 P H 5 and uh, no, this in this case particularly it would be C 5 M E 5 and C 5 P H 5 this complex was taken this tetra coordinate tantalum complex was taken and what was found the is this tantalum complex having alpha migratory insertion happening and in particular we have taken two different R groups. Okay. This R group can be two different one and uh, we, we can have the product formation. Okay. When R equals hydrogen and R equals methyl what was experimentally found that uh, this delta G double dagger value for in kcal per mole this is 16 and this is 30. So, as you can see with hydrogen R equals H we have the lower activation barrier, but for the methyl it is having a higher activation barrier. How much difference is there? that is 14 kcal difference between these two. How much difference is there again? 14 kcal. Now, H versus methyl which one is faster? H is faster right this one is the faster. Now, 14 kilocal per mole this energy is equivalent to 10 to the power 10 times rate difference. So, that is quite a lot of red difference right 14 kcal per mole uh, red difference is there between the r equals h and r equals methyl and this is experimentally uh, given given data that that means total total this 14 kcal per mole difference would add up to something like 10 to the power 10 time red difference that is very very faster very very fast for R equals H and comparatively R equals methyl will be very very slow. Now, of course, I think you may be aware of how to you know somewhat uh, calculate a little bit of what will be the energy difference and thereby how much will be the rate difference approximately. So, I am I'm, I'm trying to give you some approximate sense. Um, so, the almost the rule of thumb of, of you know it is it is a very uh, very um, generalized thing, but not accurate that very accurate uh, we are trying to give you a ballpark figure. So, approximately 4 kcal per mole 4 kcal per mole equals 10 to the power 3 times rate difference. If 
there is a difference of 4 kcal per mole uh, the delta G double dagger value then there is you should expect n to the power 3. In this case 14 kcal per mole um, value difference is there and thereby you are looking for something like this is again a very uh, rough calculation. So, that would be again 10 to the power uh, 10 approximately 10 to the power 10 k, uh, 10 to the power 10 times rate difference will be there. So, again this is not really the exact way, but this is how the, uh, the experimental chemist um, kind of quickly calculate how much rate difference is there. The rule of thumb again is 4 k cal per mole you know delta G double dagger difference that means that uh, 10 to the power 3 times rate difference is there and if it is something like 14 k cal per mole that will uh, be calculated to be 10 to the 10 times rate difference and you know it is a lot of uh, difference of the rate. Now, let us try to look at what are other possible scenarios for the alpha migratory insertion. There are other cases where you can expect alpha mig migratory insertion and uh, then those cases include let us say other alpha migratory insertion, other alpha migratory insertions. Um, then you can have this sort of complex, again you can get M C S R, you can have this sort of complex as well that would lead to M n r prime r ok. So, these are other other um, alpha migratory insertion that is possible out there you know you can you can look at the organometallic complexes different complexes and try to judge yourself where the alpha migratory insertion will be possible. But um, you know mainly I think in, in common literature you will see mainly the carbon monoxide is one of the major target for these alpha migratory insertion and then perhaps the carbene examples comes to mind and the others are less likely ok. But of course, you, you should keep your eyes open for such transformation. The next we will move on uh, quickly to the alpha elimination right. We will uh, we'll discuss that the reverse process of alpha migratory insertion that is alpha elimination. <coughs> as you have already know this is mainly the CO elimination step we are going to discuss. This is what is going to be alpha elimination then M R C O these are the complex formation and uh, you know if this is n electron complex if this is n electron complex you are going to get n plus 2 electron complex right. So, these these things you should be able to do very quickly and uh, you know you should not have any problem in discussing that. So, what once again what is the alpha elimination? It is the reverse of alpha migratory insertion and once again the common fact or common compounds where we can see such alpha elimination is the carbonyl species or the acyl species for example, MCOR from where uh, the, uh, the R will be now trans uh, transferring to the metal center. The n electron count of the metal center or metal complex will be, be giving you n plus 2 electron count now. These are the facts which is true both for alpha migratory insertion and alpha elimination. Um, uh, the, uh, in both these cases we, we know that the 2 electron difference will be uh, coming up. Let us try to discuss one of the example where I am sure you have seen it before. This is the decarbonylation reaction ok. Decarbonylation reaction means let us say you have uh, a metal carb acyl species from there or so to speak you have a aldehyde as a complex RCHO from there by involvement of a organometallic intermediate we, you are trying to form RH aldehyde to let us say alkane formation um, that is the one very simple example that demonstrate alpha elimination reaction quite quite beautifully. Let us look at one of those examples. So, the decarbonization of aldehyde 
decarbonization of an aldehyde. What we are having R C H O to R H, right. So, the C O is going out. Now, simply the most common one could be benzaldehyde to benzene, right. As you may have known that this is the this is this is a reaction which has been done uh, by will using the Wilkinson complex. What is Wilkinson complex? That is the rhodium complex R H L 3 C L where L equals your triphenyl phosphine. This triph uh, this Wilkinson complex reacts with aldehyde let us say any common aldehyde R C H O. If you hit it you will get R H plus rhodium L 2 C L C O complex along with the ligand coming out. So, how, how these reactions are happening this is what we would also like to like to know where is the alpha elimination or how is the alpha elimination occurring. So, this is the Wilkinson catalyst what happens Wilkinson catalyst can react with the aldehyde first step would be the dissociation of the dissociation of the ligand of ligand and you will have R H L 2 C L one of the ligand goes out this is a triphenyl phosphine in this case and you will have R C O H then oxidative addition into it. So, you we are going to see the oxidative addition over there and that will give rise to the complex where rhodium hydride and C O R is involved. From here you can see that this is the complex which is the oxidative addition complex the metal is inserted basically into the this carbon hydrogen bond to give this intermediate. From there this is the perfect complex as far you can see there is metal C O R group involved then you can have alpha elimination this is the step alpha elimination the previous step was oxidative addition and you can get C L L 2 rhodium C O H and R right and then this R and H should be cis to each other as you know that by reductive elimination you should get the R H product. So, what we have seen here is very simply the Wilkinson catalyst rhodium catalyst tri or tris triphenyl phosphine uh, com rhodium complex of with chloride can undergo first a ligand dissociation in this case triphenyl phosphine ligand will be dissociated to give you rhodium diphenyl uh, ditriphenyl uh, phosphine complex with chloride which then can oxidatively undergo um, addition to the aldehyde to give you the uh, this metal hydride and metal acyl species from there you, as you know that species is ready to do undergo the alpha elimination reaction to give give you the intermediate where R and H will be sitting together and once they are cis to each other they can reductively eliminate to give you the R H. So, let us look at the reaction one more time this is the Wilkinson catalyst ligand dissociation gives you R H L to C L and then it uh, gets into the, uh, the aldehyde to give you the oxidative addition complex from their elimination of this C O gives you this, uh, this complex where R and H uh, can now be cis to each other to give you the reductive elimination and uh, finally, you get the R H. So, overall what you have seen in this reaction is your um, aldehyde effectively is converted into uh, the alkane. So, benzaldehyde can be converted to benzene. Let us say you have aliphatic aldehyde that can technically give you the alkane with one less carbon. So, this is actually one of the really important reaction where you can see that something like biomass can be converted to corresponding alkane to give you the fuel grade alkane. So, these are very simple reaction, but can have very 
long term effect. Of course, in, in addition to rhodium, now we, we have seen that, um, that palladium can do the job, rhodium, iridium can also be okay, but palladium is also very effective for, for such aromatic aldehyde decarbonylation reactions. Okay. Now, um, you have seen one of these example, let us move on to the alpha elimination of transition metal alkyl species which is uh, which is again analog of the one what we were discussing. So, alpha elimination of transition metal alkyls. Now, in these cases you can have one compound like this where you have a isopropyl moiety in there and then uh, you know these are the transition metal alkyl complex. If it undergo alpha elimination, you are right that it will give you this complex that means the carbene complex. Once again, if this is n electron, this should be n plus 2 electron. Now, this is this is the same uh, if, if you look at the alpha elimination we have discussed with the CO and R group C MCOR it is exactly of the similar type that here a, again a alpha position elimination is going on and the group is now sitting after elimination it is now sitting with the metal complex. Of course, in this particular case we are going to get metal carbene complex let us take one of the particular example which demonstrate this alpha elimination of metal alkyl species. This again a very elegant and very elegant um, example. This is by uh, Professor Schrock's group, um, Richard Schrock at MIT. Uh, they have shown that this tantalium complex can give you this tantalium carbene intermediate. Okay along with L H and I, I, L, L, rest of the things remain constant. In this particular case, K equilibrium is nearly 1. Um, so, this is again one of the very beautiful example that demonstrate that alpha position of, of this one, this is the alpha position, this H is now migrated over there. This is alpha elimination of transition metal complex. Now, <coughs> next we will move on to beta migratory insertion, where we will see that so far we, we have discussed the alpha positions are getting, getting converted or getting eliminated or some transformation is happening at the alpha position. That means, the carbon center which is immediately attached with the metal are undergoing some changes but it could be also possible that the not the alpha position, but the beta position is uh, the second carbon from the metal center is undergoing some transformation. Indeed, such beta uh, migratory insertion or elimination are very, very uh, you know very, very much um, happening in the organometallic complexes and those are the one which are perhaps more important of this genre. Let us look at the beta migratory insertion. Now, most common one for beta migratory insertion is the one where let us say you have metal uh, with a olefin coordination and hydrogen coordination and they will undergo a concerted syn addition that means you have metal H sorry from there, from there you can have um, this concerted reaction where it is a four center reaction going on. You can have a transition state like that, this will be a concerted syn addition. and from there on overall you will be able to have uh, a complex where this alkyl group is over there. So, 
what we have seen here is metal hydride with a olefin coordination undergoing concerted syn addition in a four center mechanism and from there on we, we have seen metal alkyl species is getting generated. Now this is a very common reaction that is observed in a number of industrially relevant process where beta migratory insertion is happening. The most famous one could be the hydrogenation, hydroformylation and ziegler natta polymerization reactions. Now let us try to look at one of the most critical or most uh, you know common reaction of these and actually we will be discussing quite a lot on the uh, beta migratory insertion or, or the elimination reaction. Well, slowly let us look at one example at a time. So, the first key step, key step in this, the key step in a number of reaction these beta migratory insertion are involved. Um, so, the one that comes to mind is the hydrogenation any hydrogenation reaction you have studied there will be beta migratory insertion hydroformylation of course ziegler natta polymerization is another one now the first discrete example was uh, with with a um, with a pl platinum complex in this case where we, we can see that first discrete example of of this type are the one where once again the metal hydride and the olefin is coordinated to give you metal this alkyl intermediate this was demonstrated in 1962 where where we have seen that um, the metal olefin and hydride will, will be uh, the complex will was synthesized and then upon beta migra uh, migratory insertion we can have the metal alkyl species. Let us take that particular example in mind and that metal hydride ligand ligand and the chloride ligand in this particular case is triethylphosphine under 40 atmosphere pressure when the ethylene gas was passed or reacted and we can see the product formation in this case particularly let us say with plat platinum it gives H L chloro and ligand. So, this is one of the first example that we have seen in 1962 way back in 1962 this was discovered where metal complex was reacted under pressure with olefin to get the metal alkyl species that was the genesis of a completely uh, new and interesting area which has been commercialized in many many form in many many different important reaction that is uh, the beta migratory insertion step. So, we will discuss further on this and how the of course, the insertion step beta migratory insertion also we would like to learn how the migratory aptitude varies from uh, one R group to the another one and uh, also a number of uh, synthetically and industrially important reaction we would be discussing in the next class. Till then keep reading and uh, we, we will be discussing more, more on, on this topic. Thank you. Bye bye. Vayam Prabha, Digital India, Educated India.